pastor na wabunge viongozi wote ndugu watu wanakuru hamjambo nakuru hoye mimi kwanza nataka nimshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia nafasi hii tumefika hapa nakuru county kwa mara nyingine tena niwashukuru viongozi na wananchi wa nakuru kwa ushirikiano wenu na serikali yetu katika mambo ya maendeleo katika sehemu hii ambayo yanahusu nakuru county na nchi yetu ya Kenya and this morning i am delighted to be with you at this highly significant milestone event here in Menengai, Nakuru County. Our nation is taking a big step forward in our quest to achieve the historic goal of a national electricity power grid that is 100% green by 2030. Aside from this important objective, the commencement of this project to establish a 35 megawatt power plant by All Power 22 highlights our commitment to unlock Kenya's vast geothermal potential to drive economic growth. It is also a clear demonstration of our strength in mobilizing private sector investment to develop critical infrastructure and provide essential services, thereby accelerating economic transformation. So far, we have tapped only 950 megawatts, a small fraction of our geothermal potential of nearly 10,000 megawatts, leaving immense opportunities still untapped. And I want to encourage other investors alongside Keishan, All Power 22, Globlec, Socian, and all the others, that there is still immense opportunity in the geothe geothermal resources of Kenya. We've just touched less than 10%. So we have a whole 90% to go, and the government of Kenya is ready and willing and prepared to work with the private sector to unlock this potential. We call on the private sector to take full advantage of this and move more decisively and with the necessary speed. Although we are yet to utilize our full geothermal energy potential, Kenya is the sixth largest geothermal producer in the world. More impressively, geothermal energy accounts for over 50% of our national power mix, making our nation a global leader in this sector. The completion of the 105 megawatt Menengai project will elevate Kenya's global ranking to fifth overall globally, establishing beyond all contestation that economic growth and clean energy development can go hand in hand. There has been a proposition that clean energy cannot sufficiently drive economic growth because of its cost. But we are slowly demonstrating that it is possible to be clean and it is possible to develop. For a long time, the fact that geothermal energy is green, resilient, and sustainable has been the basis of our national strategy to expand our investments aimed at decarbonizing the national grid and driving our progress towards net zero. As a global leader in this space, Kenya continues to demonstrate how every action and every nation can achieve sustained, rapid, and transformative growth while remaining true to their climate action commitments. Our achievement today are hardly by chance or miracle. Rather, they are the result of consistent work and investment guided by a vision of national development committed to achieving prosperity while remaining mindful of the Earth's ecological sustainability. Only a few years ago, after independence, Kenya boldly embarked on this necessary path to transformation by investing in renewable energy long before it became a global priority. Today, 73% of our installed capacity is from our renewable resources, contributing over 90% of the electricity distributed nationally. The All Power 22 plant is the third facility within the Menengai 105 megawatt complex. Not far away, just here, 
We are continuing to expand our geothermal operations in Olkaria, Eburu, and Baringo, where over 75 megawatts have already been proven and will soon be added to the grid. Kenya's Rift Valley is establishing itself as a repository of abundant clean energy resources, a fact that should motivate our industrial and commercial sectors to invest confidently in the significant expansion of domestic manufacturing capacity. And I say this because we did commit ourselves that Nakuru is not only going to be the place where we are generating green energy from geothermal resources, but it is also going to be the industrial uh, county of Kenya. As I committed to the people of Nakuru that we are going to expand the facilities in our industrial city in Naivasha, we have just concluded the purchase by government of an extra 5,000 acres of land that will form the industrial complex here in Naivasha. We have moved step forward as I, I have this conversation with you. Next week, there will be a major conversation on the project that was launched when I visited the United States between Microsoft, G42 of UAE, and Kenya that will, for the first time, establish data centers in Naivasha powered by geothermal and that will cost close to a billion dollars of investment here in Akuru County. This power generation speaks to our industrial capacity, our investment potential, and Nakuru County is going to be the epicenter of these activities. Let me commend that affordable, reliable, and clean energy is fundamental to economic transformation, and every new megawatt brings us closer to eradicating energy poverty while boosting productivity and competitiveness. Our geothermal reserves are a national treasure that must be harnessed efficiently to support inclusive growth. And as we concentrate on generating this energy out of Nakuru County, we are mindful that the people of Nakuru County must benefit from this energy. And it is the reason Waziri and his peers have committed resources uh, that will make it possible for Nakuru County. Two billion shillings have been allocated this year for the last mile connectivity of another 15,000 people in Nakuru County to access power in their homes. We are here to confirm the government's commitment to enhance economic efficiency and industrial competitiveness by lowering electricity costs. Additionally, our strategy to provide universal access to clean, affordable, and reliable energy is clearly on course, and geothermal power remains central to these grand efforts. Given the continually rising fossil fuels and the intensifying threat of climate change, investing in renewable energy is efficient, prudent, and sustainable. This is precisely what we are doing with geothermal energy. Upon completion, this plant will generate affordable power at Kenya shillings 8 cents per kilowatt hour, significantly lower than the cost of fuel alternatives, including fossil fuel. Investors like All Power 22 exemplify the value of government-private sector collaboration in attracting foreign direct investment and creating employment opportunities for our young people. And it is important for me and instructive for me to say that the investment we've come to launch here today is not funded by the government of Kenya. This is an investment by the private sector. They are going to put their money, 12 billion shillings, into this project, generate energy, and we will buy the energy from them. It is the exemplification of private-public partnership. To unlock the resource we have here, 
we need the private sector to invest. And with their investment, we get the energy. With their investment, we create jobs. With their investment, we expand industrialization. And therefore, there is a win-win outcome when the private sector and the public sector work together. Many people would have expected us as government to borrow money and come and invest in this facility. That is not the right way to go about it because we do not want to burden the people of Kenya with either additional taxes or additional loans when the private sector can do it much more efficiently. And that is the reason why Socian is a private investment. We are now getting power from there. Uh, Globlek is underway, and we are now starting uh, Keshan here. Through the instrument of power purchase agreement, we create the nexus between public resources, private investment, to unlock the potential for us to get our growth underway. It is also the same principle that we have used in developing the expressway in Nairobi. Private investors invested in the expressway. We are using that facility through tolling. They are collecting their investment. It is also the same principle that we are using on our transmission lines. I am very happy that for the first time in Kenya today, we will have a transmission line from here in Menengai that will go to Olkalao, that will go to Nanyuki, supply power to that region all the way to Meru, they will for the first time access geothermal power from Menengai. That investment is being made by the private sector. The Adani group are investing in the transmission line, their money, 95 billion. We would have otherwise gone to borrow that money, burden the people of Kenya. This is now a private sector investment, the same way Keshan here is a private sector investment, the same way Socian is a private sector investment. We will pay for that uh, transmission line using a, a, a willing charge that has been negotiated. And it is important for us as a nation to appreciate that a partnership between public and the private sector gives us a win-win outcome where we can deliver public services and public goods using the efficiency of the private sector, investment of the private sector, as a way of supporting overall development in our country. I urge the Geothermal Development Corporation to develop and sustain a high capacity to offer effective leadership in driving Kenya's energy transition. Although geothermal power and geothermal projects are complex, the GDC must remain capable of facilitating swift progress with respect to Menengai and other projects by utilizing local labor as well as technical skills and expertise to promote self-reliance and national pride. Additionally, the GDC must intensify innovative exploration, such as the use of geothermal heat for industrial processes and greenhouse farming the development of the proposed integrated industrial park here in Menengai. I am listening to Governor here that uh, you are working around the clock to make sure that we have a conducive environment that will make significant contribution. That Menengai industrial park, which I am looking forward to working with the county government to unlock its potential so that we can use this energy to promote more investment, more industrial invest investment, so that we can create more jobs and export more products from this, uh, from this county. And it will make a significant contribution to the sustainability and global competitiveness of Kenyan manufacturing and Nakuru County and our country um, as well. I take this opportunity to congratulate All Power 22 on the progress of your important investment and to express their appreciation for your strong vote of confidence in Kenya's economy. It takes a lot of confidence. It takes a lot of belief 
You know, sometimes it is strange that investors believe in Kenya more than we do as Kenyans. This uh, Keishan, a company from America, has built confidence in our country. They are putting their money, 12 billion shillings in this project, because they believe in Kenya. I want to ask us, as the people of Kenya, to believe in ourselves and believe in our country. As a valued partner in our economic transformation, the government is committed to facilitate our powers efforts to ensure that your investment succeeds in supporting our national development. And as you requested, you have my support, the support of the government of Kenya, as you look at other opportunities. Because as I have said, we have just scratched, we have an additional 9,000 megawatts that is untapped. We are working with GDC to make sure that we unlock this, uh, this potential. Um, we are in the process of having a conversation with FEX in Bank. I have informed the governor of Nakuru so that we can build the infrastructure on the 5,000 acres we have acquired so that we can begin to interest more manufacturing capabilities into Nakuru County, into Naivasha um, Industrial Park so that we can create more value, we can create more products, we can hire more young people, and we can make our country and county much more competitive. I am very proud of this moment, that we are making steps as a country in the, in the right direction. We are dealing with the challenge of climate change, and I am very excited that today we will be signing the agreement that will produce in 24 months, that will produce the first hydrogen, the first ammonia, and the first fertilizer for, for our farmers from geothermal power here in Kenya. I am very happy that uh, Kaishan has announced that uh, they want to make it a reality, that in 24 months, did you say 24 months? 24 months we will produce the first grain of ammonia for our farmers here in Kenya. And uh, progressively, we will reduce imports of fertilizer into Kenya. And progressively, we will use hydrogen for our fuel. We don't have to import diesel and all the others progressively. And progressively, we will also be turning, and I'm, I'm happy that the Minister for uh, Roads is also in our midst, that we will be looking at reducing the number of vehicles that use fossil fuel, and we will be using more of our generated energy from geothermal and other renewable resources to power our transport sector, our cars, e-mobility, e and all the other interventions that we are working on. So, kwa watu wa nakuru, nataka niseme asante sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa leo. Nataka ni wakikishie yale mambo yote tumepangana pamoja na nyinyi, tutayasukuma isonge bele, hii program ambayo ni uhusiano kati ya private sector na serikali ni ya muhimu. Um, najua bado mnangojea eh, kwamba kutoka hapa kwenda Nairobi bado ni shida kubwa sana kwa sababu ya barabara imejaa msongamano wa magari kwa sababu eh, magari imezidi. Mimi nataka ni wakikishie ile kampuni ya Ufaransa ambayo ilikuwa imepatiwa kandarasi ama ilikuwa imetoa PIP yake kutengeneza hiyo barabara wamekwama na sasa tumewaambia waondoke ili tuweze kutafuta kampuni nyingine kwa sababu barabara kati ya Nakuru hapa Mausamit na Nairobi lazima tuifanye iwe dual carriageway ndio watu wa Nakuru na watu wa Western Kenya waweze kwenda nyumbani bila ya matatizo ya jam ambayo sasa tunaona imezidi katika hiyo barabara mimi nitashirikiana na viongozi wenu katika kutatua jambo hilo tuweze kutafuta kampuni mpya ambayo itatusaidia kupeleka um, kazi yetu ya maendeleo mbele. Kwa hivyo asanteni sana. Nimeshukuru sana kufika hapa siku ya leo na mimi nataka niwaulize sote tuweze kushirikiana na kufanya kazi kwa pamoja. Tena when are we signing the agreement? Now. Haya, mimi nataka kuona hiyo agreement kwa sababu nangojea fertilizer mimi ni mkulima. Nataka hawa wakulima wengi wanangojea hii fertilizer kutoka geothermal itafika 24 months tutangojea na tunayasabu kutoka leo.
Very good. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki. Thank you very much. So at this point, allow me to uh, invite Dr. Yang Tang and Engineer Peter Njenga, who 